bruh. Bro, what kind of Roblox developer have I become? Alright, it's time I make a good game using all the developer skills I've learned over the years and concentrating them into one dream project of mine, an MMORPG. Bruh. Now, what is an MMORPG? It's basically RuneScape. Now, let's get started. Now, this is interesting because I don't usually make big games like this. And because this is a big project, here I have a design document, which I'm going to be filling out. And I have a Trello too, which has like my tasks and stuff. So yeah, this is like a serious project I'm working on. And most of the inspiration is coming from RuneScape, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, this has been a passion project of mine. And we're gonna start working on it, huh? For this game, I first wanted to make a design document to give me some more direction on what kind of game I wanted to make. I haven't done this before with any game, so it's a first for me. And it definitely helped me because this is gonna be a big project, so I need a good foundation first. Alright, so we got our inspiration here. Now we actually need to think of a game concept now, so... So yeah, that's the game concept. Now, what's the first task that we got? Basic game mechanics. Here's the first task. Game mechanics, right? Let me add a checklist. All right, what game mechanics should it be? I want to add a camera system. So it'll be like um, hovering above the player's head. Name tags plus health bars above player's head. Custom animations, sprinting and attacking i think that's that's enough right i think that's pretty good all right so let's load up the game all right so first what i want to do is i want to publish this to roblox create new game project rpg but first we got to get our player so boom we got billy all right we're gonna use billy for now because i want to work on this name tag thing it's basically gonna be like a little bar above every player's head that's gonna show their health and their name you know stuff like that these types of things like the health bar i've already learned and are fairly easy to me so i got it done quick and there we go load inside the game we got the name tag sick and we got our name up top, username, and our health. So now if I go inside of the server, I actually want to reduce my health. And you guys will see in real time what it looks like. We also got to reduce that text up top, which I will do inside of the script. But here we go. Health, one, all the way down. What the heck? Oh yeah, I forgot to reduce the health regeneration. Yeah, I will do both of those. Then I changed the camera a little bit, added a sprinting mechanic, and made a combat system. For now, it's just basic punching, but... I'm gonna change it later on. I mean, come on, this is cool, right? My first time making a combat system with this goofy Look punching animation. But now the basic game mechanics are done. All right, first part of this game is kind of done. We got some basic game mechanics. We got a camera system. We can kind of look through walls a little bit, you know? We got name tags and health bars. We added sprinting. Ignore that, I don't know why it selects everything. <laughs> and we added a combat system. So now you can punch random noobs and make fun of them and stuff. Pretty solid, and they're dead. I mean, eliminated. But yeah, basic game mechanics are kind of done. And it's pretty sick. All right, so now that basic game mechanics were done, I started working on enemies. All right, first I gotta actually uh, plan this enemy out. Because I don't really know what kind of enemy I'm making. All right, I got something. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not very good at modeling rigs. I'm only pretty good at modeling structures and stuff. So this will be something new. Yeah, it's pretty clear I can't model rigs. I did model the goblin though, and it came out pretty good for now. I could always change in the future, I guess. And now I added a name tag to the goblin because I wanted the player to be able to see its health, but I felt like they were missing something. So I went into Blender and modeled a small sword and attached it to the goblin. Yeah, much better. And then I animated it and started scripting its AI. And now we got an early version of goblins. All right, I have finished scripting, modeling, and animating the goblin. So now, as you can see, you look over him. He's doing his idle animation, right? If I get closer to him, he will chase me right about now. Yeah, but now he's chasing me. This walk animation, pretty sick. And if he attacks me, does an animation and I get hurt. Oh, look, his sword moves, right? Yeah, there you go. All right, now if I push him and I punch him, boom, boom. Oh, I died, but he died too. <laughs> but yeah, I finished making the goblin. All right, so now that we got goblins, we got to add some coins so the player gets a reward for kill- <coughs> Eliminating the goblins. This was pretty easy. I just made a data store, added a coin, integer value, and scripted a small coin counter in the top of the screen. Look, I know it's pretty ugly right now, but trust me, the UI will look much better later on. Also, I added a cool function for the goblins to drop a random amount of coins from 1 to 3 every time they get eliminated. So every time you kill it, you get one coin, two coins, three coins. It's random. Yeah, that was- pretty obvious i guess but whatever i got one coin that time i'm gonna kill this last guy i hope i don't die because my health is pretty low gotta time this right get out of here get out of here get out of here 
All right, I got three coins that time. Let's go. And now it's time to actually bottle a location for my RPG game because it's currently looking very empty. Bruh. So I went to MS Paint and I made a cool concept for this location. Now, sure, I may be a very bad modeler when it comes to making custom rigs. But you gotta admit, this is kind of sick. I'm not gonna lie though, this did take a while. Probably took me around an hour and a half just to model this graveyard. But it's alright though because I used some cool textures and colors to make these models pop out. And I also made a cool stone wall to surround the graveyard. I'm honestly pretty happy with this location and I'm definitely gonna keep this in the game. In the next devlog, I'll most likely make another location. Maybe a town hall or a tavern? I don't know yet. What do you think I should add, bro? Anyway though, we got that in. But now I wanted to come back to the combat system. So currently my combat system is just the player punching air. And it looks kind of goofy. Since this is an RPG, we need Need some cool RPG stuff. I'm not really sure where I'm going with this. Sword! 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 So legit, I just duplicated the goblin sword and gave it to the player. But it wasn't as easy as it sounds because I didn't want to use the sword as a tool because I don't like the hotbar UI. But I could have easily removed the hotbar UI, right? Well, yeah, but I still don't like using tools, even when I always have them locked on a player. Bruh. So I found a better way to attach the sword to the player, which was accessories. The same accessory component that is used for hats. All I had to do was attach the sword to an accessory that attaches to your player's hand. Very simple, but it did take me around 5 hours to figure this out. But it's all good, because look at this animation. I also had to fix a few bugs with the combat system, but I cleaned it all up, and it's working pretty good now. However, there is something missing. Particles. I know, I know, but particles are really slept on. They can make a game look very good. Now, all I wanted to add was some impact particles when you swung your sword, but this did take me around two hours to figure out. Eventually, I figured it out, though. I actually forgot how I did it, but I probably just found a way to attach the particle to the sword. Which doesn't sound hard, but trust me, I was confused for it to take me two hours. Bruh. Hey, you know what they say though? All's well that ends well. I think that's what they say. I don't even know, but look at these particles, they're sick. And now I wanted to add sound effects because I believe they are also very important for games. I'm not gonna lie, finding good sound effects is pretty hard. I swear, every time I try to find some sound effect, I just get results of entire five minute songs uploaded by Roblox. Like, I legit do not know why they do that. Like, who is actually using your songs, Roblox? Bruh. Right, but it don't matter because we got some cool sound effects. And after a bit of digging, I found a sick soundtrack to use for the background. Hopefully this is not copyrighted. And now back to the goblins. I needed a good way to respawn the goblins because right now there's only like three and they do not respawn. So I made a spawn manager part and cloned goblins to spawn every two to three seconds or so if there were less than 10 goblins. But for some reason, the game lags every time I clone the goblins. Bruh. I'm not really sure why, which is why I wanted to ask if you knew what the issue was. If you know how to fix this lag every time the goblin spawns, please let me know or write a comment because I gotta fix this. And now onto the last thing I've done in this RPG game so far. For, which is the UI, at least an early version of it, because right now it's not scripted yet. This UI took me a while to make, mostly because I spent all my time designing this backpack icon. But you gotta admit, bro, it's pretty sick. But yeah, after like three hours, I designed all the UI. We got a quest objective box on the left, coin counter, XP counter on the top left, a health bar on top, player list on the right, and three icons on the bottom for trading, backpack, and quest, which are all things I'm planning on adding in future devlogs. And eventually, I'll add a mini map too. But so far, it's pretty alright. I don't want this UI to be too in the Way, so I might make new UI in the future devlog, but I don't know yet. But yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, and that's the devlog over. So yeah, I'm actually pretty proud of the progress I've made in this game so far. Yeah, this is pretty similar to my other videos, but it's more about working on a big project that spans across multiple videos. And yeah, I'm pretty proud of the progress I've made so far. I also added like some cool background music. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but yeah, it's pretty sick. I mean, look at this. We got goblins, we got swords, like animations and stuff. UI that doesn't work for now, <laughs> but I'm gonna script it eventually. And look at this. Isn't that sick, bro? Like, I actually learned a lot with this devlog. A lot of cool new stuff. I learned how to script some more stuff. It's been a great learning experience. Very grateful for it. But anyways, thank you guys for watching the devlog. I will probably be releasing this game once I have, like, a pretty good version of it. So maybe in the next few weeks, maybe in a month or two months. I don't know yet, but we're gonna see, right? So thank you for watching the devlog. Stick around for the next one, and we're gonna keep adding to this game. Hope you guys like it so far. See ya.